Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Shoot Hart and Todd Woolen. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas on the Velder BB Show. Good Thanks morning. for having us. Well, I, we're going to start with you, uh, Dr. Todd. Sure. Uh, we're going to talk about meningococcal, uh, which is a mouthful all by itself. Yes, it is. But you've got some information maybe to make it a little bit more palatable mm -hmm. for us. Sure. So back, uh, the bacterial infection, meningococcal meningitis, affects kids in their teens into young adulthood. And the National Meningitis Association is putting forth the campaign, the 16 vaccine campaign, to really remind kids and parents that it's important to get that second dose at age 16. The first dose is usually at age 11 to 12, but we know that even though it's a CDC recommended vaccine, less than half of the kids are getting the second really important dose. Doctor, um, uh, the disease itself is, for, is, I guess, basically targeted for teen and young adults. Why are they getting such an increased number of teens and young adults coming into this pool? So the disease is spread through intimate, or uh, I'm sorry, through contact that can be saliva, sharing drinks, it can be through coughing, um, and so that usually lifestyle and behavior puts these kids at greatest risk. So teens and young adults are greatest at risk for what a, uh, is a rare but lethal disease. So while the symptoms may start off as mild fever, headache, it can go on to be life-threatening or even result in death within just hours. And so the vaccine is your best chance of protection against this bacterial infection, meningococcal meningitis. So from what I'm understanding, you're saying one is contagious, that, is that correct? Correct, yes. And it rapidly spreads? Yes, it, once, once infected, it can rapidly spread to result in disease uh, symptoms that can impact the brain, uh, brain swelling, you can have loss of hearing, you can have organ shutdown. And the best chance of protection is vaccination. So that if, uh, like I tell my families in my practice, it's like a seatbelt. If you put the seatbelt on before, God forbid, if there's an accident, you're protected. The same thing with the vaccine. If you're vaccinated, then you're protected. But don't forget, you need that second dose at age 16. Oh, great advice. Okay, I'm going to switch to Blake just a moment because he's a meningitis survivor and National Meningitis Associate Advocate. Blake, how's your tie in to this disease? So as a senior in high school, uh, I came down with what I thought was the flu and uh, I developed purple spots all over my body, uh, stiff neck, high fever. And uh, after going to the emergency room, it was determined that I did contract bacterial meningitis. Um, I almost lost both of my legs, my hands, and my ears. Uh, fortunately for me, I only lost a few toes on my left foot. Um, there was a vaccine at the time that I could have taken to possibly prevent this from happening, but I was unaware of it at the time. Uh, so now we're just really pushing with this 16 vaccine campaign for uh, young adolescent children to get it at their 16 year checkup uh, to potentially keep them from contracting bacterial meningitis. What a story to inspire other people to do, as they say, this is just a phrase, do the right thing for your child. Doctor, uh, for the best protection, we say that the vaccine and with the follow-up vac vaccine, I'd like to leave my audience with that so they know what to do. Sure, absolutely. So first dose at 11 to 12, second dose at age 16, which is why the National Meningitis Association has really launched this The 16 Vaccine campaign. You can get information at the16vaccine.org, which really has all the information that you'll need, but you should always also talk to your healthcare provider to get the information you need. But vaccination is the way to be protected. Dr. Todd, thank you so much. Blake, thanks for sharing your story, and thank you for sh making a difference in the lives of the Valder BB Show listeners around the nation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.